Check, check. It's working. Right. Oh my god! Where's my mom? Holy mom? shit! Where's my mom? Who should oh have Oh my guys? god! You guys are fucking <laughs> here! Holy shit! Oh my god! You guys look amazing! Welcome to Roy Pitt's Barrel House. Make sure you're fucking drinking. Does everyone have a beer? Get a beer! I have a beer. Here's the thing though. Um, <clears throat> are we all good? Yeah. Here we go. All right, I'm mad at you. Why? Because you fell in love. What? Are we opening the show with in this? Love? Yes, I'm pissed. That's not my fucking fault. I'm sorry. Do you guys listen to the podcast? I voice my emotions immediately. I'm fucking mad. She's in love. Guys, this is adult shit with you know a what one. Her boyfriend said the to me. Podcast. Do you know what her <laughs> you know boyfriend said to me on our way here? No. Take care of her. Like it's my fucking job. He said that to you. Yes, bitch. He goes, take care of her. And I went, okay. Oh, God. I just got wet. Is it weird? Because I go home to no one, and you two go home to each other. I'm not going to fucking take care of you. Kate, do you pay it forward? Did yeah. you see this outfit she's wearing? She has her titties. It's not my So if you're fucking single, I, uh, you're all good, I'm ladies. giving you permission to hit on her. <laughs> Uh, I dropped all my, I dropped all your stickers on the ground. Okay. Should we get right to it? Let's get right to it. Three blowjobs. Drinking game. What? W- oh, wow. I we were starting with blowjobs. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. We're gonna play. Things. We're gonna make this a drinking game. This whole yeah. show. Yeah. If you're allowed to drink, we wanna be fucked up by the end of this. So we have some rules. Rule number one. Everyone takes a sip anytime Kate says. I feel like. <laughs> okay, now we drink. Uh, drink every time Kelsey. Every time Kelsey Kel- cuts Kate off. Yeah, boom. Because I have things to say and I'm louder, and that's just how this fucking podcast works. And I can't get out of it. So, um. <laughs> well, every time we. <clears throat> burp. Anytime we burp. So these are also rules. Uh, drink every time Kelsey. <sighs> Drink every time Kelsey mentions the love of her life slash the fucking DJ. DJ. He's a D- he's a DJ. I don't know if you guys heard his song. He made that mix for us. Thank so, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And the back. Thank Woke you. Woke up and still think I'm drunk. Um, you know, it's funny because we like became friends, both being single and both wanting to hoe. And then she was like, and the first person I just shot my shot at is like in love with me. And it's like really fucking annoying. It's gonna happen for you. You, Kate. No, it's not. Literally, people have been telling me that since sixth grade. Well, I'm going to die. It's a long road, so drink fucking up. <laughs> uh, we're also supposed to drink anytime Kate sings words, because you oh. know she fucking does <laughs> I that. Did it now. The fucking <laughs> DJ. And okay, wait. What? Listen, 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 I'm listen, fucking fucking listen, listen. What? Does anyone have a suggestion for a drinking game rule? Oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Fuck it! Yeah. 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 Also, we've had a few. <laughs> we said when we were coming in here, we were like one before, one during. Do you know what I was gonna ask you about? What? Since we have the support and confidence of how many fucking women do we have in the house tonight? Oh yeah! yeah. I've never been surrounded by so much pussy since last weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like maybe we could, I don't know, ask a guy out right here live on the podcast for you through your Bumble since that's a thing you keep complaining about? I would like... We got women supporting women. That's you the are that. a true hoe. Did I yeah. tell her about this guy? Yeah. yeah. Do I want to ask him out? Also, Yeah. yeah. Am I nervous? Duh. What Here's the thing, who is he? He looks like he picks his own fruits and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? He's got a beard and he's got a shaggy hair and I want to ask him out on... Oh, shit, I'm on airplane mode. <sighs> right. Wait, what do I say? Okay, here's the thing. Tell here. me the thing. <clears throat> um, I asked him out last weekend. And? And he didn't get Wait, back. Wait, you asked him out last weekend? I cut you off, I'm sorry. Drink! Drink, bitch! Yeah, drink. You have to drink. We'll know if you don't. Because we'll be the only drunk ones. We'll see you. Okay. I asked him out last weekend, and he didn't respond. And then when he got back on Monday, he was like, oh, sorry, I was in Ojai. I didn't... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ohio? Ojai in California. Oh, that's not Ohio? 
Ohio is not Ohio. Okay. I would have said Ohio. I don't know. Do you guys know? It's like a Lamborn uh, and a Lamborghini. This guy. I'm st- sticking with that guy. Yeah, I hate it. it when a man tells me what to do unless he's telling me to drink. Then I'll do it. Are you telling me to pick up this money? Okay, Kate. <laughs> also, I have a very like Janet oh, Jackson. Oh, I say it. I say that shit. Look, Look at my one nipple. I am like Janet Jacksoning so hard right now. Yeah. Thank you. Warm her up. Let her talk. <laughs> She's got things to say. She wants to be free. What if like milk just came out? This is a this is a pretty thick nip. <laughs> You. You That's thick the nipples. nicest thing anyone has said to me. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Back to this guy. I see what you're doing. You're deflecting. Me? Yes. <laughs> his What's name, his name? His name is Kevin. Kevin. A fucking I course can't ask it him is. Out. I can't ask him out because he, he messaged me on Bumble two times, two paragraphs, and then I sent three things back. And the bitch hasn't responded. Wait, so I, I can't respond yet. Why does it have to be like one, the other? <laughs> Sorry. Do it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Why does it have to I'm be like... I'm another one. Yeah, we're, we got a picture. I don't want that. Oh. I want another fat daddy. But everyone should have... The fat daddy stacks. If you guys are hungry, order that fucking fat daddy stacks. That pretzel's good as fuck. Oh, hey, we got to chill on these rules. We made up a bunch of rules being like, we're not going to hit them all. <laughs> Bitch, I'm just <laughs> being who I am. These rules are hard. Um, wait, I do have a question. Why does it need to be like... It's the same thing with text messages, right? It's like, well, it's I sent up. one, he sent one, I sent one. Why does that, why can't you just fucking be like, what do you have to lose is All my right. point. You shut your mouth okay. for a minute. That's impossible. And the rest of everyone here, should I message him? He sent me two, I sent him three. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think I should message him. If you're not raising your hand, why are you here? <laughs> do you not want Kate to fuck? <laughs> They want you to fuck. Hey, they want you to fuck. Listen, uh, oh. same, but also, Thank but you, also, Mom. I messaged him. Here's the thing: is that it's a riddle at this point because I messaged him three times after he messaged me twice, and now if I message him again, being like, oh, "Let's do it," you think it'll work? I just think you need to fucking. You do. You need to You're nut out up your gourd. Just do it. <laughs> But what should she say exactly? What should I say? All right, will a dude stand the fuck up and tell me what to say? You, you have a lot of thoughts. Yeah. Wow, you're so tall. Wait, wait, wait. Are Don't you actually that tall? Don't no, clap for not. Will you date me? <laughs> You'll date me? Dude, boom. You're straight. Hey. We've done it. We did He's it. He's coming up to Thank you bed. for coming up ah. to it. Go, go, go. That's our show, oh, folks. We can go home. Hell yeah, thanks. See yeah. how easy that was? You Fuck just Kevin. Needed, you just needed three beers and to sell out an entire brew house. Three beers and fucking, wait, what's your name? Sam. 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 Oh, I love it. Sam, what do you do? <laughs> fucking you fucking onion. You fucking onion. You fucking onion. my ass. Blooming onions for are you life. Are you fucking kidding me? Please sit down. All right. You gotta play it a little cool. Sorry, I'm chilling. A I'm little chillin'. cool. I'm, I'm with all of my best friends. Did you know Bloomin' Onions are part of the food group? You have you have to have those to survive. <laughs> Did people just yell out Bloomin' Onions? <laughs> Fuck yeah for Bloomin' Onions! Okay, Kelsey. What? Stop lolly gagging around. We gotta talk about some stuff. Stop lolly gagging around. Speaking of gagging, our topic for tonight is bo- Blow jobs. There it is. <laughs> now I got to say it. I was going to do a drum build up, but sure, yep, blow jobs. No, we blow jobs right to for it. both. We're not just talking about sucking dick. We're talking about munching box. We're talking about eating puss. We're talking about <laughs> spreading the lobs and getting into a twan. You okay? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Before we get into it, should we what? do one simple giveaway? You guys, we got fucking presents. We got Who presents, bitch. Fu- yeah, fucking clap it up. Let's do it. All right, what should, should we, we get? First, good present? presents first. No, we'll we'll spread it All out. Right. Okay, first one. How about uh, these? A, a handful of stickers. I dropped so many on the ground. <gasps> All right, for the first giveaway, you're getting 
a bunch of Kid Bell stickers. If you guys listen to the podcast, you know Kid Bell's amazing. She makes things like Let Boys Be Feminine. A big sticker that just says cunt on it, because why not? Hell yeah. One that says WTF. There's some BuzzFeed stuff. (coughs) Thank you. Oh, that feels so fucking good. Drink. Um, Okay. So the first person, how are we going to do this? The first person to raise their hand and answer correctly. Well, no, that's not. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, There's no rhyme or reason. We'll just figure it out. It's not going to be fair. Deal with it. So the first question is, what is Kate's nickname? Boom. Ah, Come on, get your fucking stickers. Get your 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 stickers. What's your name? Get your fucking stickers. You get all of them, Michelle. You get all that shit. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Hell yeah. Okay, and so now blowjobs. So what we were talking about before, uh, Kelsey's going to have to take the reins on this because finally my Mama time to shine. Home. I was literally just FaceTiming with the DJ backstage. I, I don't know said, how much I could talk about your relationship that you've told please me. Please keep it open for everyone to hear. That's why I do a podcast. Um, yeah, I asked, really, you guys are really into blowjobs. Well, I am. Yeah, I guess he is too. There's no, there's the no way. I'm sorry. Is there a guy in here who's like, well, I could take him or leave him? <laughs> Probably. We can't. Really? Sh- we can't just leave everyone please into raise one. Raise your hand if you're a, a human identifying male, and said I could take or leave a blowjob. No one's gonna raise their that fucking hand. That motherfucker is no, he's filming. filming. <laughs> Nobody blow him ever. Never second dick anyone here ever. I'm fucking around. So I was talking to everybody. The- suck his dick after. We'll put no, him on a pedestal. Kate, no, and spin Kate. around. Everyone else. You're acting it. like me. Stop it. I've drank. I know. We can tell. Good for you. That's what we're here for. Um, we were talking to the DJ backstage, and yes, that guy. And I asked. I was like. How are my blowjobs? Huh. And he said, top three. Yeah, he did. Wait, first she said, she goes, is it top ten? He goes, mm, I'd say top three, which means a third. <laughs> like, what other two fucking blowjobs? But then, I have a bionic jaw, okay? I've had jaw surgery. Literally, 75% of my face is made out of titanium. I don't quit, baby. No gag reflex. Watch this. Nothing. Can I, I try could, it? Can yeah. I try it? Holy shit. Nothing. And you're Whoa. fucking telling me you've had two. Two. Not one. Two better fucking blowjobs than that. No way. That's what I, I think. But here's the thing. I think he thought cool. it, he was like, uh, uh, maybe there will be two better one day. Kate, why would you put that insecurity in my head? <laughs> anyway. like, I don't know if you're the best. Because that's like in, in Napoleon Dynamite where he's like, did you meet everybody in Napoleon? And it was like, he's like, you couldn't possibly know that. You know what I mean? No, I don't. I don't understand. What was that reference? Napoleon Dynamite? You don't What understand. year is it? A classic she is knows. a fucking classic. I don't have to explain myself to you fucking ho. Wow. Thank you. And I agree. How, so how do you give, if you were to tell someone who maybe doesn't know, not me, but if it was not someone you. who's like, I don't know about blowjobs, what would you do? Okay. Here are my tips for giving dope blowjobs. I'm bum, coming up with them bum, right bum, now. Bum, 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 Number one, you have to like doing it. If you don't fucking like doing it, don't fucking do it. Don't pretend you like sucking dick if you don't like to suck a dick. It's not like one of those fake it till you make it situations. You gotta, you gotta either. You, you don't have to pretend. When I say don't pretend, you say suck a dick. Don't pretend. Suck a dick. <laughs> That worked! Thank you, guys! I feel like I have so much power! What are the odds? Okay, so you have to like it, right? And then here's tip number two, baby. Coming in fucking hot. If you fucking like it, you gotta fucking love it. You gotta pretend like that shit is your goddamn day job. Because the more you're into it, the more... But wait! (laughs) If you like it, wouldn't you just love it then? I had a dream about it. Because, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I, if you like it, wouldn't you just love it? No. Some people are like, oh, I'll do it because, like, I have to. That doesn't to. mean like it. That, when I say I like McDonald's, I'm like, I'll do it because I have to. 
I like it. I'm like, McDonald's? Fair. Big Mac, bitch. Hell I yeah. think you can also, if you like it, you can learn to love it. You just got to find the right dick for you to love it. So that you're talking about that love has to be in the relationship instead of just no, the no, dick. no, no. Oh, baby, I have sucked some dick without any love involved. Did you love whatsoever? sucking a dick when you're like, he's not gonna call me tomorrow? He doesn't care if yes, my grandma dies. Yes, because I'm like, dies. watch this shit. I'm make him fall in love based on this blowjob. That's so how I get every blowjob. Love has to be job. a part of it. So love has to be a part Dude. of it. <laughs> Dude. Love has to be part of it on one side. There's no way you're going to be like, look at this fleshy, weird thing that's sometimes soft and sometimes this. And you then, act like you've seen it. I have seen it twice. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare I you? How goddamn dare you? Uh, but ew. You have to love the person to love their thing. No, absolutely not. You have to love the act of it. And it, it, Can I we just, get a vote? Yeah, all right. Who thinks you Raise have to be in love to give a great blowjob? To want to no give a great... No one! Not one person raised their hand! You all just like sucking dick? You're all a bunch of hoes! We got Raise your hands in the house! Raise your hand if you're a hoe! We got hoes. I no like No one hoes. raised their hand. Y'all are scared. Um, I do want to explain I'm one thing, I'm putting my whole though. self out there and everyone else is holding back. Well, we're just getting started. We're only Rude. 13 minutes in. Um, oh no, we have no, we're out. We're out of time. <laughs> we have nothing else. So to there say. is something recent that I learned about the dick, and I've known dick. Okay, I've been around it for quite some time, but you know what? There's always something more to learn about it, and I learned something new about that dick. I call it the tube system. I don't have any graphics, but if I did, this would be a dick. Okay, okay. This is a dick, right? Don't tell him what it might be. Draw so pretend it. this is the dick. Do you have a pen? Here's the balls. <laughs> Does anyone have a pen? They're a little more lopsided than oh, usual. Right. So, right, here's the dick, right? That's a big ball. It's two. It's That's two. two. Okay. That's about two. If it's two, then you should do this. The, sure. Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so that's two balls, right? So here's the Depth thing. Depth effect, bitch. The fucking... Cum, sorry, I don't know why I said it like that. The cum. The cum comes from here, yeah? Are there any families in the building? You got kids in the house? Kids in the house? You should have given a warning. Nope. So, it comes from here, and it has to get all the way to here. That's when he's going, boo. It's a tube <laughs> system. And I thought, I just, my whole life, I thought it just came right up the middle of the dick. Oh, no, 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 no. Where does it go? No, 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 my friend. There's a fucking tube that comes. Under the dick. It's under the dick. Just like a, a when you go to Jiffy Lube and they take your car and they pull it down. It's under and the dick. And they raise dick. up to help you. Yeah. And that's why guys like jerk off like this. Because they're getting the tube. They're it's pushing the tube. it out of the tube. Yeah. From the bottom of the dick, not the middle. So if you're going to give a blowjob, go for the tube. Well, that's, well, yeah, that is another tip, is I think, like, you can actually help push it out of the tube. <coughs> Drink! Ah! Has there been a bad blowjob in here? Yeah. Oh, bitch. All right, Say, come here. Michelle, it's Michelle come again. Come here, Michelle, stand up. Michelle, what happened? I want to hear it. Step no, number one. That no, could be an you know. That could maybe have been the problem. I am sure. Or the solution, as I say. What happened? Is it about, it's not about blowjobs, or is it? It's before you're out. What? Nice. Love it when it happens. You turn that into a positive. Guess what? You get Was that it reflex on going. The dick. And you then you turn that, you hock a loogie. Hock a loogie on that dick. You can quote me. You hock a loogie. You gotta use more spit. No, that's a blonde. Uh, uh, that's a that's a hot blonde thing to say. I can't hock a loogie on a dick and someone be like, "Yeah, let me buy you a bagel sandwich tomorrow." <laughs> if I hock a loogie on a dick, he's gonna be like, "I need you to call your own lift home and pay me back for the two Budweisers." I'm glad we're using. Like that's that. it. <laughs> but spit is important. Sure. You know what else is important? Using the hands. Oh yeah. That's what I heard. I don't think we utilize the hands enough. Can I get another fat daddy? Who are you talking to? <laughs> this waitress. <laughs> are you just having a side conversation with your friend? Fill me up, ho! In the middle of our podcast. 
Yeah, you could edit it out. Here's the thing. Kelsey does, honest to God, 90% of the work. I I'm just not going to argue with that. I just show up. She edits it. She does the sound. Yeah, but thanks, can't we thanks, all agree that baby. we can't do this without Kate? <laughs> See? <laughs> Bad it. To blowjobs. Back to blow. Oh, wait, here's the thing. What? I think that there's so many people who are like, oh, cool, blowjobs. But here's the thing. I haven't really met a dick that didn't just, like, shoot off what it needed to do. Every dick is a loaded gun. It's good to go. You touch it in the right spot. It's like, bow, And it's like, that's too much. Those are too many bullets. There are two. There's one target. You don't need to fire five streaming bullets. What about Munch and Box? Mm, I love Munch and Box. That's harder. I think everyone here could really... We're all fluid. We, we've all talked... We've talked about it on the podcast. Like, everyone should at least eat vagina once before they Why? die. Why? Even Kel? if you're straight. You should fucking try it. And make sure you don't want to do it. Like, the same way you should fuck your friends just to make sure they're your friends. Stop it. You know? Like, no, you should do it just no, to be like, oh, I don't no, want to No, this you. is pointed. No, I don't think I'm right. Her. It's worked <laughs> out this far. No, it hasn't. But you have to eat... You have to eat box at least once in your life. Yeah. And it's also, it's healthy for you. It tastes nice. Like, again, if you're into it and you act, it, you don't have to act like you love it. If you just love it, it tastes good. Go for it. Go ahead. Trivia question. Oh, are we doing a question? We're doing a, another merch what giveaway? Was, what was on the jacket Kelsey was wearing when she shit into it? Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> Give we her want, a prize. What do you want, a sweatshirt? Give her a hat. Okay. Do you need a hat? Here, give her this one. Oh. Okay. Also, fun fact. Worn some of three times by me. Very unflattering. Only wear it to bed. BuzzFeed wouldn't give us merch. <laughs> Here you go, Here's my like, sweet baby we, angel. We, it's we, all you, baby girl. We asked for merch for the show, and, and they, they were like, like no. no. And we were like, Let's go into our closet. And then we just pulled stuff from there. And we picked there. some of our clothes to bring. Yeah. <laughs> so some of these items have been gently worn yeah. by myself or coat. Um, so when it comes to eating pussy, you're better at it. I assume you've had more practice. So tell them how to do it. How, how do you know that? Why do you assume Cause that? Because you were home. <laughs> Drink, bitch. Who's better at eating pussy? Me. We know it's me. It's her. We know it's wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. We haven't actually checked. Should we? There's no way of checking. Should we checking. pause this real fast and just handle it? I keep trying you to want get Kate to, to hook up with me. She won't hook up with me. Like I said, sometimes you got to fuck your friends to just know that you're, they're your friends. No. Mm, I no. guess we do have this whole podcast thing going. I don't trust you like that. You wouldn't let me go down on you. No. Why? Because I think you, you demand a lot of things, and I think you would demand me to What are you fucking talking feel... about? I just think that you would be like, I did this for 20 minutes, and I'd be like, yeah, it didn't work. And you'd be like, then you're broken. First of all. I think you'd eat me like a bro. A bro? <laughs> that insinuates that I don't know my way around a puss. Yeah. Are you really, you really don't think, why are you, why are you smiling at them for? We're looking at the same audience. I know. They're on my side. <laughs> I know how to eat a box. Here's Let the me thing. tell Here's you the thing. When people look like me in the world, they know how to do things actually. When people look like you in the world, they're just like, oh, I'll just like ask somebody and they'll be like, Fuck out. I love you so much. I love you so so much. Are we going to have our second fight right here, right now? We got a big ass fight a week ago. We just start Ooh, fighting. Shit. We're like bleeding. They're like, this is not the show I came for. You and your boyfriend are gorgeous. I'm wondering if you are. You are you now complimenting me because you just insulted me by saying I can't eat puss? Yeah. All right. It worked. <laughs> I'm back on board. Oh, I um, accidentally licked the microphone. I think we, we should talk about, though, the best way to ask for head because I think a lot yeah, of yeah, people yeah. get either like men just expect it right they do the fucking head push you know about the head push ow, 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 ow. and, and then rude. you their arm away and you go and then, uh, 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 uh. they always do the little and then they're and like I have to go pick up my roommate <laughs> and then they have to go <laughs> and then they leave <laughs> right everybody everybody relates to that 
But like women, I feel like if we have to ask, then they should have to ask. And if they don't, then we shouldn't have to. I think, I think there's a way. Remember when, oh. What? Do you remember when little Kim bet her fame on the tables turning and then she went away forever? <laughs> What the fuck does that have to do with... In Christine Aguilar's review, she's like, well, the table's about to turn. I bet my fame on it. Cats take my ideas and put their name on it. It's all right, though. You can't hold me down. I got to keep my What is happening? <laughs> but then she disappeared. Then she was gone because the table's never turned. So I think that we should just change it because, like, a lot of times I won't get into the idea of, like, having sex with a dude because I'm like... Mm. I'm good on sucking that dick. Like, I don't know you. I don't want to... If I don't know you, I'm not putting anything in my mouth. You don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. If you bought me one... Don't clap for that. If you bought me one simple IPA, I don't give a fuck. Your dick's IPAs not going in my mouth. IPAs are expensive. And you better believe I'm not cradling your balls. We're both getting something. I get nothing from that. What? What about what? What'd he say? He's trying what to... What about the Bloomin' Eye? He wants to eat your bloomin' onion. What He's you calling your vagina a bloomin' onion. Are you equating my vagina to a Chili's appetizer? It's out back. Are you equating? We were gonna get fucking married, bitch. See, we problem were gonna have one. kids, bitch. Problem number one. You thought and you guys you were getting married. And then you just called my vagina a bloomin' onion. That's and it's a great a, name for no, it. No, it's not. People fucking love bloomin' onion. It's onions. Atlanta's and it tastes bitch. It's no bloomin' onion. It doesn't get dipped in ranch. Did you just call your vagina Atlanta? Yeah, go home. That's your boyfriend. That's my you, future baby boyfriend. You can't boyfriend. just talk to him like that. You didn't start out so smooth with your love. Wow. Am I wrong? No. Nah, nailed it. <laughs> so how would you ask someone to go down on you? If you, need, if you didn't want to just like outright be like, hey, will you eat my vagina out for a little while? How would you ask? I'd just go home alone. No, that's <laughs> not... No, that's not how it works. I, th I've never asked. They just did it. Oh, that's, that's one way. Eat my pussy. <laughs> Does anyone else have another way? The girl with the partially shaved head said just ask, eat my pussy. Hell I, yeah. I'm fucking listening to I'm her. I'm all the way into you. I'm buying whatever she's fucking selling. Eat it! Oh, we got another suggestion. Yes? Don't, Don't give, give me the run around. around. But that is running around by saying that. If I'm like hooking up with someone and I'm like, let's not run around. Let's be straightforward. Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear what you say right now. What is a good example of being straightforward? Go. Get the point. He just gestured. He was like, wait, no, no, no. Wait, hold on. The guy in the red, right in front of the guy who asked the question. I've heard him say he loves eating box. What would a girl have to say? <laughs> what? Did he say that? He said it before. Oh, do you know him? Is this your friend? Yeah, this is my friend, but he Got hasn't it. eaten mine. But go ahead. What would you say? Are you sure? The way you said that. I, I didn't forget. You what? wouldn't say anything. You would just do it? The hell yeah. Ah! So fuck give him a beer. Up. Give him a beer. Hug up with that guy. Give him a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, though, is it weird to ask? No. It's not, right? Raise your hand if it's weird to ask for a head. I, let's see, but like, uh, yeah. Dope, like, nobody. Is, no, like if you want someone to go down <clears throat> on you and they're not, like how do you it. get them to do it? Teach them to just fucking do it. You just push their fucking, but that's, <clears throat> but guys do that to us and I fucking hate that shit. I don't want to they do to them what they do to us. I love I like how this it. has become an open forum. <laughs> uh, merch giveaway. Okay, we got... Wait, wait, let's <clears throat> get the prize first. Can it's you hand me that box? It's a bag. Okay. Does anyone confuse us for a box? Give me this, <laughs> you Dope. fucking drunk <laughs> fool. All right, this I'm one... I'm all good. Oh, this is a good one. This is a cap slap hat that I crossed the name out on the back and just wrote Kelsey and Kate. She crossed out app slap and just said Kelsey and Kate. And then we also signed it and Cap Slap signed it, I signed it, and then Kate Your wrote- mom Your mom signed mom. it, boots. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, okay, the question is, what did Kate- this is a deep wait. Shut up. You shut up. 
This is a this is a you gotta be listening from the beginning. From question. episode one. This is an episode one question. The girl at the back just went. Like she had to been listening. Like, man, nah, fuck it. I don't like it. I don't get it. All right. So okay. Bitch. What did Kate text back to the guy that sent her the dick pic that started the whole podcast, Brooke? What is it? Come get your Nailed fucking hat. Nailed girl. it. Here, I, I texted it back. Right? That's a good dick. Don't throw it at her. Young Sorry. Brooke, come here. Give me a hug. Her All right. Her. Back to blowjobs. This is my favorite subject, so stop trying to steer away. How do you give constructive criticism when someone ain't eating that puss right? What would you do if someone was like, I don't know, like biting it? Like, <laughs> like okay. if they were biting it, you know, like eating cheese, like Ew. how do you make it stop? Has that happened to you? No. It's definitely not happened to me. Um, if it was if it was happening to me, I'd probably just be like, "Oh, oh no." You would say, "Oh no." Yeah, then I'd be like, "Maybe why don't you try it like this?" Honestly, honest to God, if we were if we were like, and his head was right there, I'm a pretty short torso. I'd just move his head. You'd I move take, it? I'd take, hold it, hold this where, where it is. I'd just be like, eh, eh. Ooh, there it is. You're you know going to break mean? his neck? If it breaks, it breaks. I'm not going to try. I, what I would do is I would, maybe I would just, and I would say, hey, this is what I like. I really like it when you do it. And then you make it think like it was their idea. You know how you do that in business meetings where when you want something, you make them think it was their idea? You, you, you just, you, you trick them into eating it right. Or her. Eat him or her right. Has anyone had a disastrous blowjob story? We already asked that. Remember, Michelle raised her hand. And she said she's gay. And we said, there you go, problem solved. Got it. I just wanted to tell mine again. Let's talk about... Uh, Here's the thing. I sculpted his dick, but he lives in Philly still. Who? Should I tell it real quick? They've heard it, right? What? When I put gold bun on that guy's dick. Yeah, you guys heard that podcast. Yeah, you all heard it. it. She thought it was lube, and she put, he ate me out, and then he's like, "Return the favor." He and said, then, "Return the favor." No, I don't remember what he said. I was very drunk, but I was like, I, "Imagine he goes, that." You have lube, and I thought he said lotion. And I put that sweet, sweet gold bun medicated <laughs> on that <laughs> normal dick, and it just exploded into flames. That's but like he lives in Philly. What do you think I could say? Harry to him? Potter shit. Yeah, bitch. I'm a wizard. You're a wizard? I'm a wizard. Isn't he, where is, why isn't he here tonight? I mean, he's probably scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. All right. How do you prep the puss for uh, going down? You, you don't, don't, right? Because no, that's no, the no. problem. No, no, no. I don't believe that. No, because, like, after the club, which we're all going to, we no. come home, and, like, you have to do that weird, like, excuse dance to the bathroom where you then have to give yourself a hoe bath on just your vag lips and Wait. hope that that takes away the sweat smell, which it's not going to fucking do. We all know that. So then you start going Let through their out, cabinet, babe. being Drink. like, do they have some deodorant in here? But then what if he goes down on me, and then my deodorant on your ass like my, his deodorant, and then he's like, wow, this smells like something familiar. Maybe I like you, or maybe it's because it's what I wear in my armpit and then you're just like walking around with fucking deodorant on your puss but here's the other thing <clears throat> if a, if someone's about to munch your box <laughs> i'm just laughing at the idea of it <clears throat> how many how many people in here are trimmed shaved and ready to go wait trim shaved and ready to go are three different things are you trimmed are you shaved or are you ready to go any combination of the three all of us, all of us should be. Not me, bitch. All natural. I could braid that shit. I think I could hang a plant from that shit. Someone, I get a, I get a bigger size of underwear because my pubic hair is just that thick. Don't you hate it when your fucking pubes get caught in your underwear and it like catches and then you're fucking stopped dead in your tracks because you're just like. Oh, no. I hate when it gets caught in your toilet paper, and then you're like, ow, 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 what, ow, what, ow. what negative ply toilet paper are you using? Anyone? No one! <laughs> Wait. 
I might be un- unwell. <laughs> <laughs> you might be using toilet paper incorrectly this entire time. How do you wipe your butt? <laughs> Front to back, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to need a confirmation. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. But then sometimes it just, it, it erodes because it erodes in water and then it just gets stuck to your sweet, sweet pussy. <laughs> your toilet paper should never be eroding. <laughs> what fucking aluminum strength toilet paper do you use? Like four ply. It feels nice. My Somebody pussy is from golden rich and it should only be touched money for with four, four ply. ply toilet paper. Raise your hand if you were grown with one ply. Your boyfriend. Y'all aren't listening. All right, dope. Uh, I like how on our notes it just says, what is the protocol for nutting? <laughs> Genuine question. What were we talking about? What were we talking? Were we talking about us or? Uh, uh, okay, because here's the thing: if if you guys listen to past podcasts, you know that when I told my blowjob story, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, do it in my mouth," and then I didn't. No one told me because Cosmo was like, "They like it," and then when I was actually doing it, I was like, "No one fucking told me how long it takes for them to finish nodding." <laughs> Don't fucking say no. It's like a fucking stream. It's like if you were to lift up a hose, not like a hundred foot hose. Not all of them. And are you're like, like it's that. not on. Why does it keep fucking shit? Some shit of out. it dribbles out like a sad tear. I know. The thing is, you is all that know what I'm talking about. The second you, you know go to be I'm like, nyum, nyum, there's more. You're like, Ugh. and so my question is, what's the protocol? Where do you nut? Do you nut? Well, is it in the mouth? Is it on the chest? <laughs> Where is it? I think it's up to who's ever giving the blowjob. Like, if you're the one stuck in the dick, you get to choose where the nut goes. But do you always feel comfortable saying where it goes? Fuck yeah, sometimes I dodge that shit. I'm like, not today! I would like... And it <laughs> goes on the wall, and you fucking... It's like an act. It's like a trophy. You're like, I did that. I would like to say again, you started being sexually active at a very young age. I you're did from grow Florida. up in Florida. I am Catholic. Things happen happen differently. I think also, too, and this, there, there's not a lot of dudes in here, but for the there's ones like that are, five. and they're all, like, married or in super relationships, but I think it's all, not Sam. Not Sam. Sam, I don't trust you anymore. You call my vagina a blooming onion. I take it as a compliment. I think I you're looking at it the wrong way. I wanted to raise our son together, and you just did this. You I, did this to me. I think if you're the dude who's nutting, you have to do the, and you know what I'm talking about, where I'm gonna come. You gotta give the little head tap. The little, you notch on the door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come. You have to tell us when you're gonna fucking come. Cause then we can pull out, we can shoot it against the wall. Wait, we look how uncomfortable he is. For Yo, a you're day. so uncomfortable. I just think that it's, it's definitely that you have to say you're gonna come. That's protocol, right? I just think you it's say really when interesting. Guys gonna literally come. Literally yeah, even ins- as chicks, you say when you're gonna come. Yeah. No? Someone's shaking their head no. I feel like so many girls are like, we've tried. Or are, are we just out here not coming? Because I will and have they were none just of like, that. Oh, oh, you're going to come? I could stop. Or I'll just go like really fucking hard and ruin everything. It's so why, funny, the, why do they do that? I feel the immediate tension after we talk about this being like, you shouldn't talk about this. And it's like, uh, what? Dudes, dudes talk about literally jerking off and fucking coming everywhere all the time. Yeah. We're all here for that. We're all here for it. I just feel like I'm getting a little bit of uh, <laughs> pushback, quite honestly. Uh. <laughs> I do. How do you feel? I need another beer. Hold on. She has a blue. Drink, drink. Another rule of Kelsey. Oh, let's do a. Let's do a, one of these. Where did the DJ first tell Kelsey that he loved her? Boom, right there. Oh, shit. Rory, Rory said it, though. Did you hear her? You too. What did you say? Yeah. No! no. Rory, come here. Who's behind you? Come here. She got it. She's come getting here. it. Yeah. Give me the fucking bag. Oh, oh wait, the bag disappeared. Bag. All right, hold on. Son Let me get you bitch. a good one. We got a lot of fucking hats. Take all these stickers. Hold on. <laughs> okay, wait All of them are yours. Oh, wait. Okay, here is a shirt that I wore one time. On 4th of July, it says, great minds drink alike. Hey! How hey. funny is that? What's your name? Oh, Vinay? Fine. Ah, 
Yeah, yeah. Should we do another one while we have Let's it? Let's do it. Okay, Who next wants one. a anxiety queen hat? I made these! I fucking made this! Oh. I made it! Oh, okay, so I gave you a little, um, I, I literally gave you the answer a minute ago. What did Kate accidentally put on a guy's dick during her disaster blowjob? Go! Nailed it! <laughs> Give it to her, too. Okay. Nailed it! Nailed it. No, her. All right, um, here we go. Oh, oh, where are the two flight attendants? Are there flight attendants Those here? motherfuckers. Thank you for the care packages. Wait, they gave us care packages and they gave us a lot of okay, alcohol. Okay, listen. Yeah, they gave us many bottles of alcohol, and I will never forget that. Thank you. Um, what is my favorite drug to travel on? Yeah! <laughs> the whole fucking place. <laughs> All right, I'm throwing this at you. This is no, a... No, no, no. Why? That would have been fun, right? We both get one. All right, yeah. you both get a hat. Now the flight attendants who gave us, they gave us a care package, guys, with little Tic Tacs in it, and they scratched it out, and they said Valium. Adorable. We love flight attendants. I fucking hate flying, though. All right. That was insane to say we would throw it to them. I know we didn't warn you guys about this. Uh Did we warn them? Fuck it, I don't care. Uh, We're going to answer... Maybe one or two oh, I forgot. of okay. your guys' questions. Do y'all have a question? You know how we do our fan cues? It can be about anything. It could be about you, I don't know why I keep thinking friend. that nobody here has ever listened to the podcast <laughs> and we just tricked y'all. <laughs> and and then here. whoever we pick, Lacey's going to make you sign a waiver because you're going to be on the BuzzFeed video, so no pressure. But if anyone has a question, we'll give them a minute to think. She lives in Wait, Washington. Wait, that guy raised too. his hand immediately. I'm going to pick you. Fucking come up come here. here. my dude. Come on. Give him a hand, everybody. Hogwarts! Yeah! Hogwarts! Yeah! Hogwarts, bitch. Hogwarts. Right. Hog- come oh, here. Yes! No, no. Come, come right here. Come here. Yes! Look at that Fletcher! What's wait, your name? Wait, wait, wait. More than his name. What house are you in? I'm a Hufflepuff. I'll be you, bitch. Yeah, hub above all the way. What's your question, you sweetie? No, what's your name and... Oh, yeah, um, what's your name? It, what's your name, and if you had to be a type of steak, what would you be? A type of... I don't know. I thought it was a fun, like, get-to-know-each-other fucking exercise. This. this was a wall. Okay. The um, what's your name, and if you were a type of steak, which kind would you be? A steak? Yeah, like a steak, like a meat. Or a chip. Or a chip. I'm a Dorito all the way through. Okay, so your name is what? And then my name is Jalil. Jalil, yeah. and you're you're a Dorito. Got it. What's your question? Oh, wait, nacho or Cool Ranch? I'm a nacho. Hell yeah. Obviously. <laughs> What's your question? So lately I've been going through a lot. Best friend passed away a couple oh, weeks ago. Oh, sorry. It's fine. Like Anything that uplifts you through dark times? Ooh. Great. Yes. Oh, great. I, that's a good question. Oh, honestly. Also, what? My best friend loves you two so much. Her name's Amanda. Oh. Hi, Amanda. She will watch Amanda you. What? Thank you. Amanda, Amanda well, don't say her last name. Okay, Amanda T. We love A-T. you. A T. Love you, baby. A T. Thank you. You're Thank, oh my God! This human. is just like now you can just come up to the table and give us compliments. We'll take that too. Pull up a chair, you sweet angel. Thank you. Stop it! Let us answer your question. We love you. What was the question? Hold my hand. What do we do to uplift ourselves? Lacey's like, get away. <laughs> I truly, I watch The Office. It's, I it's my favorite show. You. I hate The Office. Ooh, he just said he hates The Office. <laughs> wow, how oh, you guys, boo him. you guys just boo him. You heard what he's so been through. had a hard year, y'all assholes. Right. I tried to watch The Office, it just does not work out. Okay, okay. It's an acquired taste. 30 Rock is also very good. 30 Rock is like Parks and Recreation. Parks and Rec's great. Um, so if you're not watching those shows, my advice would be, and I'm not joking, masturbate. It feels really good. Yeah, and you can do it whenever. You and Jill, I could, cause J-I-L-L, that's fucking hilarious. Your name's Jill. Classic Jill. Jill. But it feels really good, and it does. It releases chemicals in your brain that makes you feel good. So anytime you're sad, hungover, anxious, sometimes when I'm having a panic attack, the only thing that cures it besides Valium is masturbating. <laughs> yep, uh, I would say <laughs> um, I really like 
entertainment and television and movies and stuff to like take me away from stuff. So whatever you're into, go ahead and look that up. Okay. What 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 kind of actual entertainment are you into? Uh, cooking. Cooking. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. What's, do you want to give me your email address and I can send you a free blue apron? <gasps> yes, we help, can. Where the hell about? We have that power. <laughs> give Lacey your email and I'll send you a free blue yeah. apron. We love yeah. you. Oh, Let's wait, do here. It. You get a don't be a dick pin. Beautiful. We love you're you. You're a sweet angel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd hug you, but you're over there. Yeah. Oh, hug behind me. All right, who's got another question? Right there. She raised her come hand. Come on up, come on up, babe. Yes, What's your name? And if you were going to be an octopus, which leg would you want to also, be? Also, one through eight. What? Are you out of your gourd? You have great skin. Go ahead. Really? Thank What's you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Kirsten. Like, Hi, Kirsten. Kirsten, like curse word. Kirsten, like the American Girl doll. Yes. Um, I would want to be the left, like one of the first. One through four of the left. Yeah, tentacles. one through four on the left side. Two. Nice. Fucking oh. two. That's a good one. Two. What's your question, doll? Okay, how do I tell my parents that I'm gay and have been in a relationship for nine months? And my girlfriend's here. First of all, amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Who's your girlfriend? Who's your girlfriend? The one who came up before? She has her hands up. Okay, cool. Are, uh, what kind of what, yeah, what, kind of what are your parents do you have? Um, a very homophobic dad, Ooh, kind of okay mom who that. told my aunt that I was gay uh -huh. without me telling my mom. What oh. I'm about to ask right now is gonna sound very cold, and I don't mean it. How long have you had this haircut? Um, since February. No, it's nice. Not it's not cold. cold. No, it's not. How old are you? Are you 19. still living with them? Yeah. Are you close with them? Away. You know what? I got to be honest with you. I got to be like 100% honest with you. I haven't told my parents that I'm bisexual because I'm not dating anybody. So it's not like, like I'm not going to go home and be like, oh, I, you know what I mean? Like I like whatever. But if you have a, a person that you really like, um, think of your ability to love something or someone. Do you have any pets or anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I have two pets. Do you love them? Oh, Obviously. Of course. They're my dog. Who has a pet yeah. that they don't so, love? Like, I, know it sounds, I know it sounds crazy. It sounds insane. But like I have a cat and I love him we so much. We know Pete. Pete. <laughs> but the idea of like when you, if I love a pet that much, yeah. imagine how I would feel about a human being. Give your parents a little bit of credit. Yeah. Expect, maybe to expect the worst so that you don't get hurt. But I, I would just say... You just do it. You love the person that you're with and, and talk to them very simply and just be like, I love you guys so much. I hope this doesn't change anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like really hard, it, though. Yeah. Because I feel, I feel actually like a dick telling you what to do because I haven't done it to my parents. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think if they love you, they'll love you regardless. I think actually a parent's love is much more than we think it is as a, as a child. Yeah. Yeah. I think they'll love you regardless. I am lucky that I have two very like liberal parents who are just the most accepting people. But there was a time where I was worried about friends finding out because of what they thought. And I realized that, like I, again, you know your situation better than anyone and you know them better than anyone. You don't really owe them anything and you also don't have to do anything like unless you if you feel ready and you fucking want to then you know that feeling better than anyone else like you, no one's going to be able to convince you otherwise right but you don't feel like you have to do anything because it's your life and it's your fucking story and how you tell it and how you want to come out is totally up to you. And but I understand you don't have to do anything. It's very much also like, this is who I am. Yeah. I want them to know there's a very real part of you. That's like, there's this whole half of me. That's just ignored. And you like they know. raised you and you mm. love the fact that they did all of these things for you. So I would say like, I know like my, my parents are really Catholic. Like they're very, yes. very religious. And I think that mo the root cause of it is fear. Mm -hmm. And I think that there's no love like a love for a child. Mm -hmm. And I think that that could really 
prevail over most fear. And it's stupid, but like show them like YouTube clips. I don't know. That really helped me with kind of like a, like coming out and accepting what I was feeling was valid and, and seeing other people like me. And I, I think I said it on one of the podcasts where I was like, oh, well, if you don't really know about like the gender spectrum, watch this weird Katie Couric documentary that came out on Netflix because like parents really identify with Katie Couric. So I don't know if there's yeah, someone. Parents love Katie yeah, Couric. Yeah, they fucking love Katie Couric. Oh, here's my advice. Email Katie Couric. Yeah. <laughs> Ask her. Um, be like but like if you out. can find someone that maybe like your parents can identify with or like is their age or like their that they would understand that you could also show them like look and yeah. something that they can like uh, grasp onto, right? Because they can be like, my dad would always be like, I don't understand it, but I support it. And I'm like, no, I want you to also understand it. Like I want you to sit down and look and like have a conversation with me about it. So also, I think a way that they can relate would maybe also help. But also like your mom knew you before you were even a human being. Like your mom felt your heartbeat. Your mom knew when you were moving. Your mom knew all of these things about you. It sounds like she knows. I'm not right? trying to make you cry, but your mom loves you to a point where you might not even realize how much she loves you. And it's, it sounds like she knows, but it's right? It's true. Like she felt your heartbeat. Yeah. But before like, you were out. She you know were, you I mean? were saying that she told your aunt that you were out. And so it sounds like she maybe knows. Your, and your she mom will protect doing... you. That you're worried your about? Your mom will protect you. Yeah. And your, if they're uh, yeah. together and like, I feel like, you know, if it's easier to do one at a time, do Tell that too. Yeah. I, my dad, I don't know that I ever had like a full blown out conversation with my dad about it. I think my mom just fucking told him or he like saw it on Instagram and he was like, all right. But honestly, you'll feel, I, I would assume that you would feel a whole lot better when everyone's just on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you let us know how it goes. Let us know how it goes. Wait, we got to give you something. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Give her. Wait. Give her the, oh, how give about her, yeah, give her the shirt. an anxiety queen yeah. shirt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. All right. Um, we have one more question. One we more. Have, wait, we have. How many shirts do we have? We have, we one have another more shirt, shirt and a pin. Here, someone catch this pin. Catch it. Just throw yeah. it. Jill Damn. got it. My All sweet right. baby Jill. All right, last question. Last question. Woo! What? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean like, do you have a question? I meant we're going to ask oh, a question. Wait, first. also, your makeup looks fantastic. Yeah, it does, bitch. You look You look good, good. All right. Look at you. What is... <laughs> Whoa, it got silent. What is Kate's cat's full name? Yep. Fucking Pete Peter. Yeah, man. bitch. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, throw it up to her. Woo! We're gonna set. Oh Stop shit! That almost went right near a beer. Toss it back to her. They Guys. all did. Yes. We hate to do this, but we've hit our time. No. I know. I feel like we didn't actually even get into it. Well, can we get one more question? Should, I mean, can it be a quick one? It sounded like she had a question. Yes. Come here. Come on. Wait, we don't have anything to give you. Wait. Oh, wait yes, I do. I have one more thing. It was on my lap. Oh, wait, we have another trivia. Come here, we'll do it after her. But also, what? you switch seats. Eagles, the eagle. What's your name? And, um, Carolyn. What's your favorite Carolyn. Eyebrow. What um, the hell? A, kind nat of question? a natural oh, okay. eyebrow with nothing, because that's what I have okay. going on. Do you have no makeup on right now? Um, Fuck I you. I was to get here, and I got here in the nick of time, yeah. and I almost peed my pants. You're so beautiful. I did. held it. <laughs> So what I don't know what I look like. I wish I could just be like, yeah, the no, I just rolled out of bed. and yes. Yeah, give the question. Was a dated-related question. Do I hold this? Yeah. Or are you the, hold like, it, the anchor? Hold it, hold it, put it, yeah. right. oh, lick okay. it. So, I've been kind of hooking up with this guy on and off. I'm from, I'm from here, but I live in New York. Uh -huh. And then my friend came to visit me. New York me. City? Yeah, the Big Apple. The Big oh Apple, baby. I live in Brooklyn. I'm not that. I'm, I it's. I'm. I'm not rich. A it's young okay. Brooklyn. I'm in a lot of debt. Anyway, um, so my friend came to visit. She's over there. Uh -huh. Hi, and Hi, the dude that I've been banging, banging, on and off, on and off. She. He met my friend, like my best friend, and then the next day he texted me, Casey, what a cutie. You're and friend? yes, and we were at and we were at brunch that day. But you guys Meanwhile, have already had sex. We we had sex the night before. He texted me this, and then he followed her on Instagram and liked her most recent selfie. What is while he was texting me, Casey? 
what a cutie. So I'm like, is that weird? Wait, wait, wait. Could you honestly? You honest- know it's fucking weird. You know it's fucking weird. Wait, wait, wait. That's not a question. But I just need to know so I can give you like the like without a doubt proper advice. Can you bring up his picture? Question. But this I want is, you to know he's not that cute. And this I can't is wait also to tell you. a valid question. Are you into threesomes? <laughs> no? I mean, me and Kate, not, not said we've that. done it. Not but not friends. with this guy. You don't want to do it with this guy. Ah, oh, bye. No. Yo! Yeah. Fuck that guy! No, he looks like he would kill my baby. No, okay, bitch. listen, There's you're here. very He's smart, sweet. very beautiful, very brave. You can do anything you he want. He has boobs. He does not deserve any he has of boobs, that. The wrong He's size jeans, that up, and please, he's don't being body up. shame. I'm not body shaming. I'm, I'm just, just shaming. <laughs> but he seriously, had boobs. If, to me, it's it. There was. If there was like one day I decided, I don't know if it was just I was fed up with the bullshit, but one day I just fucking decided that I wasn't going to let guys be dicks to me anymore. And the second I stopped fucking no, letting guys be a dick to me, I got all this power. And like, am I a cunt? Yeah. Do I care? Fuck no. But you got to stop letting guys... let Like, if a guy is shitty to you, there are so many other fucking guys. Okay, first of all, let me just say he right now. He it. Above oh, everything. See, you got you so are, much backup. You are adorable. Yeah. He does not. Deserve like, you're out of his it. league. So I feel like he might be negging you. Yeah. You know? A doy, bitch. You, like, anyone that's not treating you like fucking Beyonce. I'll say you're walking Goodbye. Around. Goodbye. Good yeah, bye. And even go. Beyonce yeah. got cheated on. So what the fuck? None of us have any hope. We don't have any idea. Don't but, believe in love. But life is short. Strength. It's short and there is no room to be treated like shit. So get the fuck out. Goodbye. His loss. Move on. Life is too short. Him, There's another him hot dick right around the corner. Tell him to... You should no, text he, him. He sucks. <laughs> Give Macy's like, and that... <laughs> Send you him should. the whole shit. Let's fucking at him. What's his Twitter? I'll, I'll email him, right, him now. right now with an in-depth description. No, we don't have to do that. How? Thank you. Wait, you get a sucks. shirt. Here. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. Uh, Kate, we got to give our shout outs. I don't have any. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, my bad. Yeah, no, I have uh, six. What? Are you going to shout out your own friends? At Mary Kazenjak, at Rory Wright, at Jordan Nakabiti, at Siri. Quick, what's your last name? I only know your first name. It's amazing. Wow, You've also friends. been to all of my performances here. Here? There's Beautiful one. Beautiful Siri. No, uh, when I was in college. Oh. You came to see me in college. <laughs> at Lauren, at Chris, at Bitch. Ah, okay, it's done. Wow. Uh, that was a lot. We want to shout out Jackie from Twitter because this poor girl... <laughs> got in trouble for buying tickets tonight because her conservative parents yeah, found yeah, out yeah. that she was coming and they wouldn't let her come. So Sweet we all baby. gotta fucking give it up for Jackie, it's guys. It's like the time we're with you. Fuck your parents. Fuck the patriarchy. What? Dismantle the system. Yes. Run away if you have to. It's like the time I listened to Eminem in my garage and my dad was like, no. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're, like, you're buying flip, beer because Roy Pitts Barrel House did this for us for free. Fuck, we forgot to shout him out in the beginning. He, no, we did. They did this for fucking free, so drink the fuck up by another drink beer. All the drinks. We're going to do pictures if you guys want to come. And we're if gonna, you like, want. Line if we, we didn't blow it. If Mine's didn't sweating. If you don't want to, it's fine. But we're going to come over here if you want to do a picture. Also, the pretzel's really good. You can follow me at Kelsey Dare on all the things. At Kate Peterman on Instagram and at <clears throat> K-A-Y. You bitches. You don't even care. They're my two best friends. At K A Y T E P A on Twitter. And you guys, you have to say it with us. Fucking bye!